All right, guys, this is Mobile Gamer Nerd, and we are back with another Raid Shadow Legends free to play mystery shard only run video, only heroes everyone can use. So, we had a big day yesterday. Uh, we were able to get to Amos, the uh, the jerk bag who who resides in the city of Centranos, and uh, yeah, this is a this has been a pain in the ass the entire time. Uh, there was one fight that was really messing with me, and it was the key holder in this area of the city, and that would be this fight, which is really irritating. We'll get to it in a sec, but yeah, that's the team we use. I know it's crazy, right? We used a bunch of weirdos, but. So this rotation was honestly easier than the last one, and I think it's just because I specifically had heroes that could beat things. There's definitely some areas in here that were a little bit annoying, and we'll kind of go through those areas. I, I don't know how much we're going to do the fights and stuff, because some of them were really long, and some of them took a few times. I'll at least maybe start the fights so you can kind of see how I did it. I mean, the, the fights are terrible. Let's put it that way. There's, there's definitely some fights in here that you're going to be banging your head against the wall, and it's annoying. Now, the first area of the city, there wasn't really much here to speak about. I mean, this was, this is usually a big hard stop, I would say, Bommel. We were able to do it with this team. I think the real thing here is that Hyria is great at keeping herself alive, so it doesn't really... Actually, we don't want to use any buffs. I forgot. Uh, Hyria is really good at keeping herself alive, and I actually forgot about the turn meter increase there. But essentially, we just kind of blasted through this. This wasn't the worst thing in the world. I think we beat it the first try. I'm sure there's a chance that we could lose this, and we have the ally attack for Hyria. And she is in lifesteal, so she can basically just keep healing herself. So if she dies, she dies. And that was it. And then hopefully... Arbiter stays alive. I mean, there really wasn't much to this one. I feel like you could do it even without Arbiter. Just bring in your strongest heroes and make sure you have one hero who can definitely heal themselves back up and has enough defense to kind of stay alive. And Hyria is perfect for that because I use her for clan boss. So that's why she worked. Let's get in here. Smack them down. I mean, as you can see, we're already down half. You just have to be able to survive the bombs. That's really the hardest part. We do have poisons on Hyria, which is also cool. I forgot we have turn meter reduction there, so now we're going to have a bunch of crap going on that we don't like. <laughs> as long as the bombs don't all go off at once, we can usually make it. Uh, we're going to do this. I don't know. Does that do a shield? No. Wait, does this do defense? This does defense all. Um, I don't know if I want to do that yet. We're going to keep pushing. We're going to see if the first two bombs do anything. And then we'll decide if it's worth our time to do the defense. Well, it's definitely going to be worth our time, but... Um, all right, so I think we're going to attack up just to try and kill him quicker. Hopefully we don't die. If we die, we die. Like I said, I'm not really trying to give you the exact science here on how to beat these. I'm just showing you how I did it personally. Here we go. Yannicka is great because she does tons of damage. All right, so now, boom, look at that. They got it. Um, and this is why, by the way, Reaper is a great freaking skill for any legendary because <laughs> you literally just kill bosses with it um so yeah so basically that's it i mean even a one-star reaper is good as all but the hp threshold is lower but get reaper on one of your on a couple of your damage dealers i believe i have it on cleo and yannicka right now so those are the two that really have it i'm considering doing it for your carl also i think it's the best bet for him because just in case he gets something down low so there you go that's the first roadblock would be him now can we do it with anyone else? I mean, yeah, like I said, we take her out. She, as you saw, she didn't really do much. In, in fact, she actually kind of hurt us, Arbiter. So what I would say is bring in a, just another damage dealer with something like this. It doesn't have to be this team. It just has to be heroes. One hero that is really defensive and has lifesteal. And that person is the one that will basically keep your team from wiping at the last second when the bombs go off. They have to be able to survive two bombs. That's it. That's the requirement. Two bombs, and they need to have lifesteal. If you got that, you should be able to do this fine. Uh, I think in here, even someone like Perforator, whatever, is that his name, Perforator, or Boltsmith, even someone like him at level 60 would be really useful here because he's a single target damage dealer and he could just keep popping the damage and you'd get it down. Hyria is amazing for this fight, so if you have her and you don't have her to level 60, you're really, you're hurting. Bring her in. She's an awesome hero all around. I've had a, a few different areas that we've beaten things with her and awesome hero. Um... I don't think any of these fights are really worth even mentioning too much. If you have level 60 heroes that are in these factions, you should be able to beat it. I mean, there's a bunch that everybody gets for free. I mean, Galek, uh, Elhane, what's her face? The other Elhane. Uh, Yannicka is a big deal in this in this rotation. 
because there's a lot of high elf stuff in this one that wasn't here before. Uh, Arbiter, I just threw in because, but you could easily put in someone like, I don't know, any of these heroes, honestly. Uh, Who's this? Dark Aethel. You've got Apothecary. Even Poisons would be good here. You just keep whacking the boss with it. Uh, you got Totem. I mean, all of these guys could basically do this fight. I'm not going to go too detailed into the first area because it's it's really easy and the bosses are, are low level. Same thing here. We've got Drex, so it was easy. If we don't have our HP burner here, then yeah, this is going to suck. Uh, and yeah, I know this looks like a big team that nobody, that everybody has, doesn't have yet, but you don't even need this. Like, you could literally pull out all of these guys. These are the only two that I would say, even her, even her honestly, you could probably do this. Let's see. Who can we do this with? We'll bring in Kale. We'll bring in her to speed our team up. And we'll bring in, who else? Do we want attack up? Do we want that or do we want another damage dealer? No, we'll do attack up just because. All right, let's just see if they can win. So this is with Drex, and that's because he's the key here because you need the, you have to have the burn. So if you don't have anyone who burns, I think, I didn't I didn't see what the actual requirements were. Uh, maybe Coffin Smasher? I don't know, I have to look. I have to, we'll look after and see if this is even a problem. But as you can see, these guys are kind of a joke. If you have a bunch of level 60 heroes, you're going to beat this fight if, as long as you have an HP burner. If you don't have an HP burner, then this is a hard wipe. You're not going to beat it. And Or if you have block revive, there you go. That's the other one you need. So you can do block revive and hopefully do it. So you don't even need it. I just threw in all those legendaries because I was having fun. <laughs> I didn't actually need them. I was like, oh, yeah, let's bring all these guys. It just makes it quicker. But how much quicker? I don't even know. This might even be faster than the other run because their synergy is great. Starting five, baby, and and what's your fan? Yeah, that was my best time. So even with the not legendaries, I was able to do it faster. So there you go. Um, what else we got here? You've got these guys. This fight wasn't too bad, just because it wasn't hard. It wasn't like super hard with like 150 plus. This fight at 150 would be a an annoyance. I'll, I'll I'll say that as much because this guy right here, the Eternal Dragon, is a jerk to beat. All right, complete. Complete jerk. All right. So this is the first area. Like I said, not much going on here. This fight wasn't too bad. You can literally just use your AoEs and whack the freaking spiders and kill them in three seconds. Most of that shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, just if you have an attack lead, that would be great because you want to be able to kill those baby spiders as fast as possible. And you could literally, I mean, I looked at it, I did it with Zephyr Sniper. Yeah, crazy, right? And uh, yeah, that's really it. This one wasn't too bad. As long as you have AoE experts that can do a ton of damage, I think you should be fine with this one. It's level 100, so he's not going to be super difficult unless you just literally are new and don't have any level 60s. Like That's the only thing here that would stop you. And if that's the case, then you probably should just beat whatever you could beat and then go do something else and level your heroes. Uh, this is the second area, right? Yeah, second area. This fight was a little annoying. This area was terrible. I think this fight might have been annoying. No, this one wasn't that bad. We used... You Carl is a lead for attack. We'll go in here and see. I don't know if I autoed it though. We'll see. I think we'll, we'll let it auto. What's the worst that happens? We die, right? These fights are a little bit weird to auto. Actually, yeah, I don't know if I, I want to auto it because actually I forgot the baby spiders. If we can kill the, the main spider first, that's the big deal. All right, so now we are going to AoE. No, we want to steal the turn meter of the boss first. That's the big thing, because we don't want him getting... Oh, that's right, we can't. I forgot. It's tainted. He's tainted. It's okay. We have another AoE on the helm. This is why I said just bring in a bunch of AoE heroes. Yeah, I probably could have auto this. This is actually pretty dumb. Look at this. Maybe we'll kill that. We'll kill this guy in like three seconds, probably. There, there's the smite. Got a little heal. Yeah, we're going to auto this. I don't even care. So... Yeah, this one's not too bad as long as you have a bunch of AoE heroes. Just bring them all in at once. There you go. Spider's dead. No problem. If this was higher level, once again, it would be a lot harder, but it's not. So we don't have to worry about it. Ooh, it's getting them smites off. Did smite go on both of them? Is that what happened? I don't even know. I wasn't paying attention. I wonder how, if that house might work. Yeah, it hits everybody, right? But I didn't remember who got it. So I guess the dragon got it. This area is fun. So yeah, these are the teams that we were using to beat these things. Sill and Yukarl are going to pop up all the time just because they're so good, but you can replace him. You know, everyone else in here is easily accessible. Uh, even Yukarl technically is easily accessible within the first six months. If you have her, you're probably either close to getting him unless you just completely ignored it. Like me, it took me about 10 months to get him. So there's that. But if you, and that's because I did, I did Yannicka first, which I still think to this day was a mistake. <laughs> but Hey, whatever. Your Carl is infinitely better than um, Yannicka will ever be. So now we have them done. So who else is in here that's annoying? This fight. All right. So 
I'm not going to run the whole fight because it's long, but I basically just took these guys in. I brought, what's her name? What is her name? Uh, Solbon. I brought her in simply because she gave me extra crit rate for my hero. Everybody else in here is a liability. All they're going to do is get your Jizzo hit, and no one wants that. So don't bring anyone else in here. Literally, just bring Jizzo, and that's it. Now, little side note, you can screw this up. To where the boss will keep continually heal himself. So I did have to do this normally. All right, see so this skill right here. Attacks all enemies, places an extra hit. Each extra hit steals a random buff from enemies that have no shield buff. So if you don't have a shield up, this could be a problem. So what I did was, is every time we get to three, and he uses the skill, that is when I would put up my heal. All right? And I actually did this without autoing. So it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt. I should have put the heels up. I'm not paying attention. So we're going to go one more round. Let him do his attack. Boom. There you go. And now you can do the heel. Otherwise, he steals the heel and unfortunately keeps healing himself back up. And as you can see, we're not even close to beating him yet. Say, look, the shield is at nothing and his HP is like here. So this is an enormously annoying fight. It takes a very long time. And that's why we're not going to do it. But that's how I beat it. Jizzo for the win. And battle. Make sure he has more resistance than mine does. All right. Yeah, my best time was almost 10 minutes. So I don't, there's no reason to waste 10 minutes you watching the same thing. So we just literally kept doing that. The only thing you need to know is that healing thing. Make sure you watch that skill and you can do it with Jizzo. If you've seen my Jizzo before and the builds on him and how I got through, I believe I have a few videos on Jizzo beating Doom Tower hard mode scarab by himself, and I think I had a couple, and also his champion spotlight you can check out, and that'll show you his stats and everything and what we did. Uh, get out of here, and that was the that was one of the big ones from last last rotation. Actually, that that really sucked. Let me drink my tea. We actually couldn't beat him. I think last time he was he was a pain in the butt, pain in the butt, and I tried switching some gear, and I was like, why am I wasting my time with this? It's not even worth my time. So, <clears throat> Jizzo is the one we want. This one. This one sucked, but we got through it. It's only level 100, so as long as your team can survive Bommel, you can basically kill the Ice Golem, I think, in like one round, I think. If, like nothing crazy here. Don't turn auto off. No. No auto. All right, so I didn't want to do that. Or did I? I think we just didn't care. That's what it was. We just did this and went for the gold. Uh, we're going to try here. Really, you just want to kill the Ice Guy as fast as possible. Because his attack don't really matter with the shield, unfortunately. Oh, he froze me. He froze me, and then they had all those extra those extra things are bad. They're bad. All right, we're going to do shields. That's what we did, I think. We, we just kind of ate the damage. I might have screwed myself with the extra attacks, by the way. We might have to redo it. All right, so we're going to do this. AoE. They're all dead. See what I mean? Like You just kind of kicked their butts, and now we're going to remove whatever debuffs are going on here. I don't know if we're going to survive this, but we have... If she survives, we're fine. So now we want a shield to try to not die. All right, so she did survive those poisons, so we're fine. Because she can revive anyone that dies. And I don't think the damage from this is that crazy, if I remember correctly. Those HP burns are bad, though. All right, we're going to do... Do we need to heal anyone? No, we're just going to speed up. Screw it. Screw it. There we go. So it did. It, she didn't get killed. Those bombs aren't doing too much. Counterattacks are nice. Ooh, somebody's getting dangerously close to death. All right, so now the only one that's really important is Arbiter, because she revives the whole team. All right. Other than that, yeah, just put up some more defense and, and you'd be fine. <laughs> See what I mean? That was a mix-up. I don't think that normally would have happened. I don't think it happened last time either that everyone died. So this is just a this was a, a poor showing in the beginning. I would not have put all those debuffs up to get the, the uh, bombs. So, I mean, all the buffs to do the bombs. So that's why that happened. Don't think that this is uh, exactly how it went last time, because it isn't. Who do we got? All right, so now we hopefully can kill this guy. There we go. He's dead. Wipe this. I'm telling you, Reaper, baby. All right, so now he's dead. Let's get some HP burns going, because that actually is very helpful against Bommel. And then you basically just have another Bommel fight, and that's it. Just whack away. And I forgot about that decreased turn meter every time with that stupid bomb. We get the extra bomb every time. Uh, we're going to do some shields to heal up. 
speed ourselves up. I don't even know if he's got the, the buffs. I think we're just going to just not do any buffs. That's what we're going to do. No buffies. No buffies. No Buffy the Vampire Slayer going on here. Pop him in the face. Boom, boom, boom. So as you can see, not too bad. Not too shabby. She has a ton of bombs on her, so I think we're going to try and keep her alive. Let's see if that works. Smacking everybody in the face. Weakens. I don't even know if Weakens... I don't even know if Weakens does anything to him. There we go. We got the bombs. See, that's why I was going to be like, hey, maybe I shouldn't heal her. All right, so she's dead. I mean, I mean, Arbiter. Not Arbiter. It was that Apothecary, right? All right, so we are going to revive my boy. And then we are going to heal everyone as much as we can. And then hopefully kill this bastard. We've got two bombs coming in. The, the goal here is to try to kill this bastard before he actually gets his turn. I don't know if that's going to happen. We want to get a shield. Ooh, that's a lot of bomb. See, right now we're in a danger zone, so this could go poorly. So we want to speed up so we get more turns before these bombs. And hopefully this is it. Boom. Yep. Reaper. <laughs> I'm going to say that every time. So there you go. It was a, it was a terrible team. We didn't, Honestly, Arbiter probably didn't help us at all, to be honest. I think she actually hurt us. The revive is what kept us alive, but if she wasn't there and I didn't do the dumb things I did with her with their um, turn meter increase, I mean decrease on the boss and her buffs being up when he used his, his skill for the bombs, I actually think this would have been a much smoother fight. So Arbiter is actually the, the liability in this fight. Get her out of here. All right, so there you go. That was that fight. This one we didn't even get to. We're not even up there. Yeah, I wouldn't even want to look at that fight. Uh, all right, anybody else in here who's a pain in the ass? I think Eternal Dragon was a pain in the ass. I don't remember if it was this, ro if it was this rotation. I don't know. I get confused between last rotation and this one. This one was a bit of a pain in the ass, if I remember correctly. And it took me a few tries to do it. Just because it, it's hard to get the ads dead. Um, they're pretty, they have a lot of HP in this fight and, but otherwise he's just a normal fight. It's just, you got to make sure you can keep your team alive. Cause this guy does hit like a truck. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't, if like, once again, I mean, we're just kind of like kind of running through this. This isn't like a, this isn't a tutorial. It's just how I beat it and what you're going to do. So that's the team we use. And like, I know it was a longer fight and it's annoying cause he does a ton of restrictions and uh, really annoying things that are kind of irritating and he's slow. Uh, dragon was pretty much simple. We just put an attack lead in and kind of did what we did. Uh, is that Lord Legionary? Let's auto and see what happens. I don't remember which ones I autoed and which ones I didn't. And now that Lord Legionary is rebuilt for attack, he's kind of cool. I actually like really dig him. Look at that. 43k he just put up versus my other heroes. Granted, none of my other heroes are super, super attack oriented. Yeah, Lord Legionary is... Uh, He's slowly becoming one of my more favorite heroes. I'm not gonna lie. He kind of he's kind of like uh, what's his name? Disciple, Twin Claw Disciple. Those two are just, and it's funny because they work well together. So maybe that's why I'm liking them both. I got. I'm gonna make a whole video on Twin Claw and Lord Legionary and how I love them. Yeah, I guess this was an auto fight. Yeah, like I said, this one didn't seem like it was anything crazy. You've got some removal of debuffs in here, and you're probably fine. We have Valerie who can do shields and remove at least one round of uh, damage. So there you go. Look at that. Nice and easy. Lord Legionary, outside of the poisons, did the most damage. Frozen Banshee, obviously, is a monster. We can't really compare because she's a boss killer. But yeah, Lord Legionary, awesome. He's, he's the key. He's the key to everything, guys. I'm just letting you guys know. Lord Legionary is the key to everything in this city. Go ahead. Believe that if you want. <laughs> actually, he was. He actually, I don't know if he's, he actually is the key to the city. I'm not going to lie. He actually is. Like, I'm not even joking. He was. He's the reason we bought, we beat one of the fights. Um, all right. So this fight, I don't remember this one being that hard. Yeah, this was this one's easy because you had a bunch of heroes that were good and can do a ton of damage. Last rotation was a pain in the ass and required a lot of work. This one, I mean, there's it's Barbarian. If you have Barbarian in any one of these things, you basically have every hero you need unless there's a weird restriction that you can't use somebody, like only attack or only support. But yeah, this is the easiest fight. I wouldn't. I don't even think I need to go in here. If you've beaten Dark Fae, then you you can you can beat this Dark Fae. Um, and then we didn't do Spider because I don't have an HP burner, at least that I know of. I I kind of looked through here. I didn't really 
dig deep into it because I didn't give a crap that much. But yeah, I don't have an HP burner right up front. We're not even wasting our time with it. Uh, I don't even think I have a block revive. Yeah, I tried to see if we have Armager, but he's gone. Yeah, there's no block revive here. I don't think we have Conqueror. Nope, nobody in here. So there's nobody in here. And I'm sure somebody in here may have something, but we, I, what do I care? What am I going to lose? Free gear. <laughs> has no stats that I need. I think I sold more gear from the city than I actually kept. I think I have two sets maybe that I'm using. And I think one of yeah, one of them's good. The other one actually it's on Lord Legionary right now. So he's the only one that's actually in a set set. Uh I don't even have any accessories though. Uh so here we go. Let's see who else is in here that was pain. This one wasn't that bad. Yeah, you have the you have Ryan to remove the spiders counterattacks and you have these two to remove all the poisons because this is a poison nightmare. So if you don't have Mithrala I would probably say shields if you have it, heals. Um, only other option here would be to bring in some heroes who are insanely strong who can drop the spider fast. I would say that's probably your best bet. Let me see. Let's try it. Let's see. I don't know. Um, so we've got her for removing debuffs. Is he really that strong? I don't think so. He's strong. This guy, I think, beat it last. I think we did this actually last time. Where we beat it, we need AoE heroes. AoE, AoE, AoE. Do we have someone who can take the lead that's a little bit better? Um, this is a tough one. The speed is so good, though. But having this guy for attack down might be useful also. So maybe we'll just put Ryan in the lead for accuracy, and we'll bring him. Because honestly, I think Dark Kale is actually a liability here. Uh, yeah, and I don't want to use Visix just because she's high end let's see i don't know let's try it i mean if we lose we lose you saw the team that i used to beat it right there so right now we've got all these poisons and stuff uh, that's right i forgot that we have the poison problem that we have to deal with so i should have brought the other girl all right so everybody's weakened except for this guy so that's not good uh that actually we're gonna restart that because that was dumb there's no point trying to fight across trying to fight um a stupidity beginning <laughs> there's no reason the one counterattack stayed up. We're like, yeah, now nah, we'll just restart. Why is he doing that? Countering. Why are you count? Oh, we're on auto. That's why. What happened there? Continue. Wait, wait, what happened there? Did she use? She didn't get a turn. All right, so it doesn't really matter because he's just healing himself. We're getting a ton of poison, so that's fun. Um, which is actually bad also. So let's restart it again. <laughs> I'm like, wait, because it's on auto. Turn it off. All right, oh, no auto. No auto, remove counterattacks. We don't want all that crap on us. These are all the mistakes you can make, and that's why I leave them in the video, because you know what? You're going to make them too. Weakened. Thank you. See, look, nothing here. Weakened and all removed. If you don't have that, basically, you have to use... Your other option is to use... What the hell is her name? Uh, Spirit Host. Do attack up, and then kill them in one hit with uh, attacks, which honestly would probably be a better option at this point. All right, let's get some healing going to counteract the poisons. We're going to do an AoE, maybe. No, we want to do... What does this do? This increased defense, right? This puts a shield buff on all allies. So that's actually very helpful right now. <clears throat> As we do not want anything hitting us. All right. Boom. We're going to get hit with a ton of poison, say. This is why uh, having someone like Spirit Host is kind of important. All right. We're going to heal. Boost turn meter. And then try to kill this dummy spider before we die. All right, so that team doesn't work. <clears throat> so you have to remove everything. So there you go, problem solved. <laughs> Edit team. This one might be a this one might be a hard one. I mean, luckily it's not a necessary fight. So I remember that we did have a problem with this one. So yeah, I guess attack isn't going to be it. You're going to have to have removal of debuff. So yeah, you're going to have to have her in here. Uh, not her. I mean, you're probably going to need. You might need her. Who knows? So we definitely need removal of debuffs. And we, I mean. I'm going to see if we can do it with just attack. I think that might be our option here. Uh, he does shielding. Let's just try it. I mean, we're going to give it a couple of shots. I knew that this fight was a pain in the ass. I just want to try and give you another option besides the team I just showed you with Mithrala, because some of you may not have her. So I want to see if there's another way through it. It was a pain in the ass. If you don't have Mithrala, that could be a problem. Um, actually, right there, we screwed up again. Son of a bastard. See, I, I got, I'm turning it off. <laughs> I'm turning it off. All right, replay. I got actually. I, I should have done it while I was in the thing. All right, so let's do this right now. Attack up. This is more fun, actually. I like screwing up. It's more fun for the video because you're like, "What the hell?" 
<laughs> Can you do it right? All right, so we have a bunch of poison. So now we're going to do attack up instead of the other thing. Let's see if this works. All right. Uh, we're going to try and poison the boss. We did not poison the boss. Uh, we are going to try and leech the boss. We did successfully leech the boss. We're going to do the shield. Actually, no, we're just going to attack this bastard. No, we're going to do the shield because it's, it's kind of necessary to have some protection. Always use protection. Now, let's see if it works. It did not work. So you're going to need a stronger DPS if you're going to use this strategy. Uh, we're going to remove all these damn poisons. And then get hit with a bunch more poisons. Actually, no, it was perfect timing for it. Let's see if he can kill these baby spiders without them healing. All right, we're good there. So you're going to need a DPS that can really do some damage if you're going to use this strategy. Because you don't want those baby spiders uh, healing everybody back up. So there we go. We've got some heal going. We're going to do some... No, we're not going to waste our AoE until there's baby spiders. We don't want that. She's going to heal back up, so that's fine. I don't think we really need a turn meter boost this second. So we'll just keep attacking the spider. Let's get some attack down. If this works, I'll be actually kind of surprised. All right, we're going to save the attack up because you need it for the baby spider, so don't waste it. Same thing with his, any AoEs. Do not waste them. Just A1 your way to victory or any attacks that do a bunch of damage all at once. See, now, now would be a good time to use the healing. Uh, baby spiders will be coming back, I think, next round. So here we go. Now we're going to heal and boost our turn meters. Hopefully we can get... Nice. We got a leech. Leeches are good. We just don't want the spider to freaking heal. If you have... I don't think... Does turn meter work on him? I think, yeah, turn meter does work on this guy, I think. So you can use turn meter manipulation here. There's a couple different strats you could use if you don't have heroes, but... All right, so now we're going to get poison the crap out of. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, wow, that was a lot of death. All right, so that didn't go well at all. All right, so you're going to need somebody with shields like... Like Mithral. I mean, Mithral is the best one for it because she can remove them. Remember, that was the team I used. I had Mithral on it. It just sucks. I figured I'd try to give you guys another option, but it's looking like uh, you may need a little more defense. So, if anything, maybe just pull a Veer out and try to find somebody who is... You know, I don't have one, honestly. I, I don't really have someone else. I mean, I have Butcher, so he could revive. I mean, if you have... Uh, who else is in here? I mean, if you have Visix at this point, she's honestly would be my first choice, but uh, I didn't want to use anyone too strong. Uh, maybe a defense hero in the lead would be good. There's a couple different things you could do. So, yeah, but either way, I use Mithrala and Ryan, and I don't think I used her. Yeah, we used uh, him, right? Basically, we used this team to get through it, and yeah, obviously Mithrala's high end, but if you once again, if you just started, this probably isn't... You're not going to be here anyway, probably. You're not going to be at this point in the, in the in the rounds. You might be at, like, stage 40. So, it's kind of is what it is. I mean, Mithral is the winner here. I like showing a lot of things way more in way more through than I need to. But either way, it's a, it's a crap fight. It's a tough fight. Uh, and like I said, it took us a while to beat it. So, either way, that one I was sitting on for a little bit with Mithrala because I was having a pain in the ass time beating that, sp that spider. But if you can kill the spider really quickly, if you have somebody who's really strong at killing the spider... That's an easy fight, because the dragon's a joke. It's the spider that's the pain in the ass. Um, this one, I am not going to lie when I say that I freaking hate this fight. All right? It it actually almost broke me. <laughs> um, it is, by far and away, the most irritating fight to get a key in this entire area. And... And that's after seeing what you just saw, okay, with that other fight, with trying to figure out teams for that fight. Um, yeah, it's Lord Legionary and, not Lord Legionary, yeah, Lord Legionary, I would say, is almost key to this fight, and Jizzo. So Jizzo's basically going to be annoying, just like he was to the Scarab King in the other fight that I just showed you. The same strategy applies, just make sure you're watching that heal, so he doesn't heal himself back up. You have to kill the spider first. Now, if you can't kill the spider first, this fight, essentially, unless you have somebody who's really good at with shields, like if you have a, I don't, I don't know if Brogny's good in here, I don't even know what class he is, but like something like Brogny or Krisk, if you have something like that, I mean, I mean, you're probably not watching my videos, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, if you have those heroes or something like in those, in that realm, then yeah, this becomes much easier. Uh, blocking debuffs becomes much easier. The other thing is that this is the perfect combo of annoyance because 
taking this off auto. Because you basically have a spider that poisons and constantly heals and has a bunch of attacks that kill your heroes. Then you've got a, hero, a guy who basically doesn't matter what you put up on yourself, he can steal those buffs and he can provoke your guys and he can do a lot of things. So if your heroes don't have a ton of resist, this fight will be a nightmare. Now, I'm not going to try and beat this again because like, F that in the A. Like, but this is how I did it and was it worth it? Yeah. I mean, it was fun. After I after I finally started to get it. So now what we did was we used Lord Legionnaire. We, we just tried to kill the spider as fast as possible. All right? That's the goal. Same thing in the other one. You want to kill the spider. All right? Don't put up any buffs because putting up buffs basically screws you with Scarab. All right? Same thing here. We're not going to put up counterattack. We're just going to kind of pop this guy in the face until the heal goes off. And we get the thing. Now, ally attack with Hyria, once again, is freaking amazing. Nice. And Lord Legionnaire got to go. So now you get a bunch of, of damage there. All right, so if you have Hyria, I highly recommend using her. Yannicka, same thing. The problem here is that this fight is very hard, and we don't have another AoE specialist. So if Yannicka doesn't kill all these baby spiders like that, it becomes a problem because he's going to heal up a lot. I think we did it. We redid this a few times to try to make sure that we could do it. Now, at this point, I would probably say he's going to heal up. We're just going to go for as much damage on the boss as possible, even though he's going to freaking heal it all back up probably. Unless I can get Yannicka to go, which I didn't. All right, so let's just let's try to kill a baby spider. It's one dead. Uh, we'll try to kill another one. Nope, we didn't. We got we got messed up. All right, so we're gonna try and get some poisons on this boss. And this fight can go either way. See, all the way back up. So that's a bad version. I think that on the real good on the good version, we were able to, in that first wave, we were able to kill almost all of them with the AOE. Now you would say to yourself, hey. Maybe just bring another AOE specialist in here, right? You would think that would be what the key would be, right? Well, you're wrong because I tried doing that and it just didn't work because they weren't strong enough to kill the boss. So now we're going to take these provokes off. Actually, no, we're going to put a shield. No, we're going to do this. Yeah, we're going to do this. Take it off. But now he's going to provoke again anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so now we're going to try and put a counterattack on Lord Legionary because that Keeping him alive is very important because he is pretty strong and he does a lot of damage. Hyria is better with her ally attack, but at the same time, Lord Legionnaire does most of the damage in this fight outside of Yannicka. But Yannicka probably dies first, so there's that. And we're going to get a ton of provokes. This is why killing the spider is, is, is the most important thing because as you can see now, we're getting distracted with all these damn provokes. I'm telling you, this fight is horrible. Like, Do not think that this is going to be an easy fight. As you can see, we're getting messed up now anyway, because we got screwed up in the beginning. But basically, you got to get a run where Yannicka kills all these spiders in that first run, because then he doesn't heal up as much as he did, and then you can kind of focus on not having to deal with all the baby spiders that are now back. Look at Lord Legionary going in there. trying. He's a try-hard. Let's just do one more run and see if I can kill them in that first run. But that's how you know you're, gonna, you're, on, you're on, uh, on the path to winning, all right? This fight is literally the worst thing ever. I did this fight probably 100 times, but we were able to beat it, and that's good. And we're not even that strong, which is the funny part. So, And I actually think I got 60,000 on that first hit when we did this on the winning run. I wish I was recording it because it would have been nice, but, I mean, c'est la vie, as they say. I don't know who says that. No one says that. Get in here. Ally attacks. Look at that. If we had HP... Um, Sorry, not HP. Heal reduction. That would be nice. All right. So now we're going to try again. Let's see what happens. Nope. That was even worse than last time. So if you have an AOE special that can kill these guys in one hit, that makes it much easier. But Yannicka is not that person for me, apparently. So there you go. But either way, like I said, I wasn't trying to beat it right now. But this is how I beat it. And I did it over and over again. I was stupid back then. Like, before, I would have kept fighting this fight as you see it now. Now, when I, now that I know what I'm up against, I would literally immediately right now just re reset it and wait until at least, you need at least two or three spiders to be not, to be alive. Like, that's it. Like, if you can get it down lower, great. But whoever your, your AOE hero is, just make sure that they can kill these spiders. All right. Yannicka is not the perfect one for me. I would find someone who can do it a little bit easier, but I don't really have anyone. So that's just unfortunately what I had to go through. But yeah, this fight sucks. And then basically you kill the spider. I think when I beat it specifically, I believe he literally at this top HP bar 
had like this much HP and and he was about to get a turn to heal and we killed him. All right. So it's it's a luck shot. I'm letting you know right now this was a very much a luck shot. I would have to probably build my team a little bit stronger. If you've been playing longer and you have better heroes than me and you're pulling good heroes, this shouldn't be a big problem. But at least you know that Jizzo's here, specifically the only ones you can't replace. Jizzo, unless you have somebody who can kill Scarab King. That's, you know, I'm just saying for this specific team. Jizzo has to be alive to kill Scarab. Now, Valerie and, and Jizzo basically stayed alive the whole time, and I beat it with those two. I just kept putting up shields with, with Valerie, and luckily she wasn't a liability. Normally, an extra hero in here for Scarab with Jizzo is a liability, but this didn't happen. Uh, and we did it manually the whole time. And then you've got Lord Legionary only because he has speed down, which is really nice. And it keeps the turn meter of the spider down. So that's something you want. If you have a turn of someone who can do speed down who's really strong, then fine. Do not bring in a support hero unless you have really strong like other DPS. Uh, I would make sure these are all DPS, everyone else, because you want to kill this damn spider as fast as possible. Uh, unless you just have some other strategy, which is fine with me. I'm okay with that. Uh, but there, that's it. That's fit for this. We don't need to sit here, because like I said, it took me a long time to beat it. I just wanted... This is just a an overview of what we did, okay? So we, we were able to beat him last night. It took me, I think, probably a week to beat him. Like, it was a, it was a while. He sucks. Now, this fight, I'm not going to lie, sucks. I don't even, I don't even know... I'm not even going to sit here and, and try to go through him and dissect the boss and whatever. Uh, just know that he sucks. It's a terrible fight. And we're going to bring in these guys just for fun. They're going to lose in about two seconds, but it doesn't really matter. I read the skills. It is a rough fight. And yeah, you're going to get your butt handed to you. And all these buffs are going to be the downfall of me. So I, I, I know enough to know that those buffs are going to be what kills me. <laughs> um yeah, this is a rough fight. I was I messed with it a couple times. I didn't do it on auto. I literally just said, screw it, let's mess with it. If you do auto with a team like I have right now, you're basically just going to be watching him heal himself up, and you're not going to get anything done. But yeah, I mean, this is a really cool fight. Like It looks like very Castlevania. I feel like I'm fighting a boss in Castlevania right now. So yeah, the idea is cool, and I think it's great, but... We're not going to be beating this boss anytime soon, so we are. This is basically the end of our uh, City of Centranos journey for now until we kind of figure out some other heroes that can be useful in here. I, I, I feel like I, I feel like I have heroes that can work this fight. I don't know if we can actually beat it yet. I mean, we've got tons of heroes. I just don't know if I have the right ones for this. And the fact that we're restricted on top of it is even worse. So, yeah. But as you can see, he's a rough. He's a rough. He's a rough go. <laughs> he's a bit of a rough a ruffian and it requires a lot of heal reduction at the perfect timing and like a lot of it's a lot of like perfect timing kind of crap and honestly i'm just not interested i'm not interested in it right now so and i probably can't do it anyway so oh good we revived everyone isn't that great imagine we beat it right now just probably putting it on auto mel messing around no we're not going to beat it there's no way we don't have any heal reduction in here so we are definitely not beating this because this guy is basically a heal he's basically just heals himself that's it like if you're not using the right heroes he's just gonna heal himself up completely and there goes oh that's right we have two revivers i like fights where the, where the boss heals themselves back up and that's like the the gimmick i'm actually lying by the way i hate that that is literally my least favorite thing in any game ever is when a boss can heal themselves back up to max or switch hps and all that nonsense where they just get the, all their HP back because it's just annoying. So, yeah, that's my thing. So, do I like Amius? Do I think he's a good boss? No, I think he's trash, but yeah, whatever. He's there and, and people like him, right? He's friendly. <laughs> um, yeah, but that's it. That's uh, that's basically where we're at, and that's kind of how we got through things. Like I said, this wasn't a tutorial, so if you were looking for a tutorial, I'm sorry. This is not a tutorial. It's just what I've done and kind of just a run through of the city. And, uh, yeah, that's it for today. All right, so you guys have a great day. If you guys uh, want to leave any comments, questions, things you want to talk about, I'm always interested in hearing about it. And uh, let me know how you beat these things and if you thought it was funny to watch me die in the spider and not leave it on auto for too many times. Yeah, it's funny. I, whatever. You know what? It is what it is. That's This is how we play the game, all right? I'm sure you've all done exactly what I just did. I'm tired. I just woke up. No, I'm just kidding. I don't care. All right, so, <laughs> so leave a like. Leave a share. You can't leave a share, but you can leave it 
I'm leaving, I'm leaving it up to you to share. See, this is, you know what? I'm going to drink my tea. This is Mobile Gamer Nerd. And you guys, take care.